Alright, so this is the first year we've done club week, as you guys know, and so far it's gone well. I mean, none of you guys dressed up, but that's okay. <laughs> um, we are doing club week because we want everyone to get involved in all these activities. Um, getting involved will help make you look good on scholarships, and will make you meet new friends, and your overall high school experience will be amazing. So, looking at next week, we have posters in the cafeteria if you guys want to go down and look. Um, there we go. Um, Monday is Student Council Day, and then Tuesday we have FFK Day, and if you wear blue and gold, you get a beach stick. Um, <laughs> Wednesday is an HS Day, and we are doing a food packaging event, and we would really like it if everybody stuck around and did that, because it's a really big deal, and we did a lot of fundraising and stuff for it. Um, Thursday we have Art Club Day, and that we are doing Color Wars, and there are prizes. And then Friday we are having kind of like a, reminds me of the career fair, but we're going to have clubs. So stop at your tables and get information about different clubs that you want to join and talk to some members about it. Here's Alex of Baltimore. <laughs> <laughs> okay, on to the next slide. Now we're going to talk about why you should be joining FBLA. Okay, as you can read on the slide, which is basically what I'm going to tell you, is that you learn a lot of business skills and uh, leadership skills throughout everything, and it's not just a chance for you to go on the weekends to a hotel and learn a bunch of presentations and go watch different things. You get, a, you get stuff out of it. You actually learn things that you're going to use in real life, like how to do an interview, what you need to do during a business dinner, and stuff like that. And you also learn... Um, you learn great networking skills with people that everyone there. As you can see, our group from last year, two years ago, uh, a few years ago, X amount of years ago, that was us at SLC. And the, we have an actual really big group, but there's groups that are larger than us, and there's over a lot. I don't know how many groups there are at SLC, to be honest. And you learn a lot of people, you meet a lot of people, sorry. And you get to be, meet new friends and everything. And you get a lot of opportunities and scholarships. You can apply, seniors can apply for scholarships on the FBLA website, I think. And overall, you have a lot of fun with it. I mean, you get a, you have to take time to make your presentations well. But overall, I feel like I at least had a great experience during FBLA in my past high school career. So I think these guys would say the same. So join. <laughs> and you get to hang out with the sailors. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be talking about some of the events that we do for FBLA. Um, the first thing that we do is a membership drive, and this is where all the new incoming members and the um, members who are uh, continuing to come out for the club, we get together and we do something fun. Um, one year we did a hayride, another year we did um, like a paint war where we throw paint on each other. Um, and that's where we get our dues paid for, and it's just like a little meet and greet kind of thing. Um, we also do a fall leadership conference, which is in the fall, and this is kind of like a prerequisite to the um, spring leadership conference. And here is more of like um, a social get together, and there are some events that people participate in. But the more competitive events that you're going to be competing in are at the Spring Leadership Conference. Right now we are preparing for those. Um, for those of you in um, IH, SSA, or the speech program, um, a lot of the activities that we do are test-based or um, are based upon public speaking. So you can take something that you like to do, mix it with a speech, and then give a presentation at the state level um, at the Marriott. If you do well at the Spring Leadership Conference, you move on to the National Leadership Conference. Last year, National Leadership Conference was held in Chicago, Illinois. This year, it will be held at Atlanta, Georgia. <coughs> Last year, um, how many members did we have? Fifteen? Um, which was really great for our size of the club and our school. Um, we also do a lot of community projects, such as the Blood Drive, the March Dimes, Pennies for Patients, um, and the school scents, uh, or the Halloween party, those are all things that are done through the FBLA. Um, you'll see a lot of those at um, games and local events. <coughs> uh, 
And then um, we're also doing some business projects right now for the Spring Leadership Conference, including the partnership with business and the American Enterprise Project. The partnership with business is a group of FBLA members that are teaming up with Woods Edge Golf Course to try to bring in more revenue and um, get it some publicity. And the American Enterprise Project we have been working on um, is a group of kids who are going over to the elementary and teaching fifth and sixth graders how to uh, choose a career and get exposed to those types of careers that they're interested in. We also have a banquet at the end of the year, which concludes our, um, our overall year, how we did. And seniors are rewarded, and uh, we basically just go over how we did throughout the entire year. And we also do fun events throughout this um, season, including um, going to hockey games and haunted houses and things that are usually um, we get points for doing through FBLAopoly. We get so many points per project, and then we are given special rewards at Spring Leadership Conference. If we can have the speakers come up here and just stand in a line. So we brought in some speakers for you guys to listen to today. Um, if you guys reply to your emails. Um, if you didn't reply to the email, you can go to whoever you want. Um, these are like the different places you'll be, so if you're wondering which speaker will be where, that's where they'll be. Um, make sure you be respectful and ask a lot of questions because they took the time out of their day to come here and help educate you guys about why getting involved is so important and the things that they do. Thank you.